everybody. Welcome back to another video. If you are new to the channel, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below and go check out our Instagram pages where I post daily original photos and updates about our life and a lot of the animals in our collection. So today or tonight is gonna be a nighttime video. I have not done a video in a while uh, where I feed my collection. Uh, we have acquired a lot of new animals, uh, particularly snakes, and I feed them in the evenings. So because this is a nighttime video, I'm gonna try to get the best footage I can with the lighting I have. So bear with me. Uh, first things first, the only tool that we're gonna be using is my handy dandy tongs. I believe these are 24 inch tongs that I use. I got off of Amazon, I think for about 10, $15. Um, if I can find the link, I will leave it in the description below. If not, there are other versions out there that work just fine. These are just regular tongs. The other thing I want to show you is how I keep record of my feedings. It's nothing fancy. I don't have a fancy app. I just use your standard four by six cards. So let's look at those. So these are the standard four by six cards that I use and they are color coded. Uh, pink is for my female ball pythons. Blue is for my male ball pythons. I use a purple for any of my reptiles that are non ball pythons. And then green is for my male non ball pythons but this stack we are not feeding tonight this stack we are so we have quite a few to feed tonight it's pretty basic easy and they go in my filing box nothing too fancy but it gets the job done so i have frozen thawed rats defrosting in my sink in a bowl with warm water from my sink that usually takes about an hour um, I choose to defrost in water. There are many ways to defrost frozen thawed rats. You can just leave them out all day on your counter or in a room where it doesn't bother you. Um, I do frozen thawed or fresh kill. We raise our own rats and then I have a euthanization chamber uh, that I use to uh, humanely euthanize my rats. Uh, you can feed however you want. You can do live if you need to, uh, fresh kill or frozen thawed. I have only had to feed live, I believe once or twice uh, before getting most of our snakes to switch over to either fresh kill or frozen thawed. That is what I prefer. That is what is easier and works for us. So you do you, but this is just the way I do it. So I'm gonna go get my bowl of rats and we're gonna get this show on the road. All right, so we are gonna be feeding this rack first. Uh, this is our black pine snake Bubba. We have our Wama Python, Carpet Python, and these three are baby ball pythons. But first, check out how this guy sleeps. This is our baby water monitor Arlo. Let's see if it'll focus. Look how he just crunches in the corner like that. That's how he is comfortable sleeping. He's got this whole cage and that's where he sleeps.
So now that we're all done with the baby rack, now we're gonna move on to all of our ball pythons in our freedom breeder rack. All right, so we got our tongs, we got our bowl of rats that are just in warm water to keep them warm. And I always keep a paper towel out because I always have a few that like to come out and grab and then they drip all over the floor. So I always have a paper towel handy. All right, let's go, go with the first one. This is Miss Pepper. <laughs> And she is our Suriname Redtail, and she is ready to go. So let's get her a rat. Look at her just patiently waiting. <laughs> She's been kind of a lazy eater lately. You want it? Come get it. Here you go. Let her devour that. Usually takes them about 10 minutes or so. All right, this is Stoic, our blackhead. I'm not gonna open it. He ate last week and had a fairly large meal, so we are not feeding him this week. Uh, he's about 18 months old, so we're probably gonna go to every other week for him. Now, I usually go to our picky eaters. Oh, she's right in front too see if she's gonna eat tonight or not. Some of our breeders have not been eating regularly. Uh, looks like she's not into it tonight. So we're gonna go on to the next one. Trying to do this with one hand is pretty tricky. So I think we're gonna have to use feet. Let's see, Adele. Let me see how creative I get with my feet. Where are you? Oh, I don't know about that one. She's not even out. We'll come back to that one. Let's try Flicker. Ew, none of you guys are out. What's up? You want it? Oh yeah, she was hungry. Check that out. All right, so I opened Adele's tub back up and it looks like she is very deep in shed, so that is why she is not gonna be eating tonight. All right, moving on to the next customer. Just a nice drippy rat. And, dude, let me know if you like watching my feet. Ah, look at that. Ready to go. Here you go, lady. Here you go. So patient. <laughs> Very nice looking lady. All right. Moving along. Uh, Nagini ate two of these about eh, a week and a half ago. But she's been kind of off and on with eating, so, oh, she's ready. Look at her. She's like, hello. You gonna take it? Yep, she was hungry. Enjoy. Oh, are you in? Yeah, you're in. Okay. Moving along. All right, Miss Flicky. See if Miss Flicker is ready. Getting another rat. Oh, we did Miss Flicker. Let's do Roxanne. Eh, she's not out. We're gonna move on to the next customer. All right, so I went and double checked my cards. Aspen doesn't eat this week. Butterscotch will eat this week. So. Let's get her a rat. See if I can do this standing up with my foot. Oh, balance action. Oh, there she is. You want that? No, oh, it doesn't look like it's happening tonight. She's been eating very regularly, but she's also been bowl wrapping, so. She might be developing follicles and just doesn't want to eat this week. And that is fine. 
And then this girl, Sunshine, is always ready to eat. There you go. This is one of our best eaters, our lavender albino. Absolutely fabulous. You sat in your water again. I'll have to get you some new water. All right. Tafiti ate last week. Eep Lake ate last week. Honey is up this week. Where are you, girl? Oh. Maybe she's not going to be a contender. Are you in shed too? Just checked on you guys this morning. No, you're not in shed. Let's see if you'll take a rat. You are not interested at all. All right, until next week. See you later. Oh, get my finger in there again. Okay, it's kind of high to reach up here with my feet. Let's see, homie. Oh, look at homeboy. Homeboy is ready. Here, homeboy. All right, well, some of my regular eaters have not been eating, uh, or they've been eating off and on since we started breeding. So that is fairly normal. Not a big deal. We'll try again next week. All right, now we have Nimbus, and he just got out of shed, so oh, there he is. He always comes out for it. There you go. He is one of our really good eaters, too. This boy is absolutely beautiful with a fresh skin on him. Look at that. Can't really see his dorsal stripe. He is a super pastel ivory, so it is very hard to see his pattern. He also has leopard in him. All right, dude, enjoy. All right, Thunk is usually a candidate ready to go. Oh, yep, there he is. Let's get you a rat, dude. And while the camera is on the rats, I am focused on him because we don't need to be bit in the face. That would be uh, awful. There you go, dude. Yummy, yummy. Look at this boy. He is getting big. All right, now let's see if our last two boys are gonna eat. All right, here is Rocky. Trying to get the camera in there. And we are a go. Good job, dude. Boy, it's beautiful. He's half, he was hiding underneath the substrate. All right, enjoy. All right, we got one more contender. As you can see, I'm out of frozen rats. I'm gonna have to go euthanize some more real quick. All right, we have some freshly euthanized rats. All right, so first I'm gonna try some of these that didn't take the frozen thawed. Um, sometimes they will take fresh kill over frozen thawed. Sometimes the temperature and the smell is a little bit different. So we're gonna go ahead and try those ones first. So let's see, she's chilling right here. She's still shying away from it. All right. All right, we're going back to using the foot here. Now let's go over here and try this girl again. Oh, there she is. Let's see if she'll take it. Oh yeah, look at that. I hope you can get that with your hide, girl. Goodness gracious. See, sometimes they won't take fresh or a frozen thawed and you just have to give them something different. She was a liver though, so she'll take fresh kill over frozen thawed most of the time. All right, so let's try this girl again. Yeah, still no go for that one too. That's fine. Good night. All right, so this girl, let's try her again. She is out and about. She smelt it. And there you have it. 
Enjoy. All right, we just got this last boy to do. Let's see if he is out and ready. Oh, look at, let's see. He is one that's been eating every other week in between breeding. So let's see, want it? No, he's kind of shying away. So that is okay. We will throw these two in the freezer for next time. Until next time, dude. So I'd have to say that was a pretty successful feeding evening. But now we're gonna go back through and let's check on how some of them are getting it down. Let's check on Miss Pepper. Uh, hers is gone and she's looking for more. You're done, honey. Good night. <laughs> You're done too? Yep, she got hers down. Uh, she was in shed, she didn't eat. Let's check out Sky. Uh, she's just about done. All right, so we're gonna leave her be to finish that up. And let's check on Nagini. Uh, Nagini is ready for more. Sorry, honey, only one tonight. Good night. Hers is gone. Uh, we're gonna give her a few more minutes. She didn't eat tonight, she didn't eat tonight. Let's check on Sunshine. Uh, yeah, hers is gone and she's ready for more too. Sorry, that's it. Let's see, we didn't feed Miss Tafiti, but hey, let's check out Miss Tafiti. Look at that black pastel. I'm not gonna open her all the way because she's gonna think she's gonna get fed. Uh, didn't eat. Let's see, we just fed her. Let's check on Nimbus. Nimbus is usually raring to go again too. Oh, he's just barely getting it down. There is a tail still sticking out. <laughs> all right, we'll leave you be to finish that up. You've been in your water a lot too. We need to give you more water. All right, Mr. Thunk, how are you doing? I think you are done and looking for more. Uh, we are done, dude. Good night. All right, let's check on Rocky. Let's see if I can, all right, where are you, dude? You are still hiding and I don't see the rat. I'm gonna say, that it is gone. Good night. Look, he's all hiding in the substrate. All right. All right, I already checked on all the babies. They devour theirs pretty quickly, so it only usually takes them a couple minutes. All right, so we're gonna let the rest of them consume their food. I have found that I have more success in feeding if it is later in the evening. So we did start out feeding about seven, eight o'clock, and then I slowly pushed it back and I have noticed that feeding the snakes, especially normally when they would hunt in the nighttime, uh, we have been more successful. So we kind of stick to this routine. Every once in a while, I'll let my two older sons stay up and watch. Um, but for the most part, I do the feeding in the evening on my own. So that is just how we have the most success. So that is gonna be it for tonight's video. Uh, thank you again for watching. Thank you for everybody who has subscribed to the channel and been supporting us. It really means a lot. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feedback, suggestions, uh, anything like that, feel free to drop a comment. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Stay safe, stay sane, get out there and make your own footprints. Bye.